Eve's humanoid robots have learned to perform tasks autonomously thanks to their connection to GPT Chat. Startup Magic Lab recently presented its newest humanoid robot, which has already learned to make coffee, fold laundry, and even show tricks. All over Moscow, autonomous robots Pixel started cleaning the streets of the city. Developers predict that in the coming years, such robots will appear on the streets of all major metropolitan areas of the world. And also the New York robot policeman K5, who was dishonorably dismissed from his post. These and other high-tech news in one video. Humanoid robots funded by the company OpenAI have learned to perform a variety of tasks autonomously thanks to their connection to neural networks. The humanoid manufacturer OneX has introduced the EVE robots, which are trained to perform tasks using the method of end-to-end -end learning. The company OpenAI has invested more than $125 million in the project so far. In a video, EVE robots perform various actions without any human intervention, solely under the control of neural networks. They open doors, maneuver through narrow passages, connect themselves to charging stations, tidy up items, and pick up scattered toys. In the near future, OneX plans to expand the team of developers and increase the number of robots for platform testing to 300 units. The OneX humanoid robots in the video appear physically weaker compared to robots like Tesla, Figure, Sanctuary, or Agility. The company has trained 30 EVE bots on a range of individual tasks using imitation learning through video and teleoperation. They used learned behavior models to perform specific tasks to train the basic model capable of performing a wide range of actions. Then, this basic model was fine-tuned considering the capabilities of the specific environment, such as warehouse tasks or general door manipulations. The final step involves training the bots for specific business tasks, meaning creating sequences of certain actions. What an amazing time we live in, where videos featuring new humanoid robots are no longer a sensation. For example, the release of a new humanoid from the startup Magic Lab went unnoticed, perhaps because almost nothing is known about either the company or the robot itself. However, the developers claim sensational things. For instance, they managed to create electric actuators for the robot that are comparable in power to the hydraulic actuators of the Atlas robot. It's the use of hydraulic actuators that gives Atlas the strength to perform somersaults and parkour. Electric actuators traditionally don't provide such power, which is why Optimus or the Figure 1 robot walks slowly instead of demonstrating impressive acrobatics. It should be noted that so far, Magic Lab has only demonstrated somersaults with the lower part of the robot, so they are still far from Atlas. However, the upper part can make coffee, perform magic tricks, fold laundry, and carry out other manipulations with its hands. According to reports, engineers used a combination of miniature high-torque servo actuators and sensitive multidimensional pressure sensors for the robot's hands. The positioning accuracy is said to be 1 millimeter, and the payload capacity is several kilograms. According to the team, the hand can reproduce about 70% of all human hand gestures. Autonomous robots Pixel have started cleaning Moscow on a regular basis. Since January 2024, 10 Pixel robots have been regularly cleaning walking paths in several Moscow parks. The robots are equipped with LiDARs, radars, sensors, and machine vision for safe navigation and can work year-round in any weather, clearing snow in winter and sweeping and washing paths in summer. The electric battery provides 16 hours of continuous operation. Additionally, the cleaning robot is quite agile. Its maximum speed reaches 10 km per hour. Pixel robots are planned to enter mass production by the second half of 2024. The Moscow authorities increased the number of robots to 12 and the number of cleaning areas to 5. When the robot encounters an obstacle in its path, it quickly recognizes it and acts according to a predefined algorithm. For example, if there is a person in front of the robot, it will stop and resume its work when the person leaves. It will also carefully bypass parked cars, strollers, or scooters. Thanks to its electric power, Pixel contributes to environmental protection. Moreover, it is almost silent, so it can clean the streets even at night. After completing its work, it autonomously returns to its base. Unfortunately, the K5 robot didn't have much luck as a police officer. After only six months on duty with the New York Police Department, the robot was disgracefully dismissed for being unfit for service. What's surprising isn't that, but the specific complaints about the poor bot. Among them, the lack of legs for navigating stairs and the absence of arms for apprehending offenders. Both factors were known in advance. So what's the issue? Apparently, the benefits of its work, namely facial recognition and verbal recommendations, didn't outweigh the hassle. After all, to protect the robot from attacks and essentially falls, several police officers were constantly accompanying the metallic robot. 
The startup Nightscope, which developed the K5, stated that the current version is a prototype and will be improved. However, the disappointed police chief and mayor of New York do not want to hear anything more about robots for now. It's worth recalling that earlier, the K5 gained notoriety when working as a security guard at a shopping center. It ended up drowning in a fountain. YouTuber Alan Pan created an exoskeleton for arm wrestling and challenged athletes and bodybuilders to compete. The blogger introduced an interesting invention to the world, an exoskeleton for arm wrestling. Armed with his device, Pan challenged regulars at Muscle Beach, a popular spot among bodybuilders in Santa Monica. For his exoskeleton's brackets, Pan constructed them from scrap metal found at home, and to make the device move, he attached a harbor freight winch with a lifting capacity of 900 kilograms to them. The winch is controlled by a controller, powered by a LiPo battery intended for radio-controlled cars. The device is attached to the body with an aluminum frame that is worn on the back. To test the exoskeleton, Pan headed to Muscle Beach, where he challenged passers-by, offering to pay $100 to anyone who could defeat him in arm wrestling. Several people accepted the challenge, but no one could overcome the mechanical power of the exoskeleton until the device broke down. After several matches, the winch cable twisted, leading to overloading and the motor breaking down. This allowed the last participant in the unusual competition to defeat Pan and earn the well-deserved $100. Pan is known for his playful inventions. For example, in the summer of 2022, he introduced a set of robotic legs for snakes. When any other animal has deformed legs, humanity comes together, and we create amazing new cyborg legs for that animal, Pan said at the time. But nobody loves snakes so much that they build robotic legs for them. Nobody, except me, snake enthusiast Alan Pan. Studying the legs of a three-toed skink and a sea raspberry, Pan came up with an exoskeleton consisting of a transparent plastic tube with four motorized legs attached to it. The NASA Space Agency has introduced Automated Reconfigurable Adaptive Digital Assembly Systems, abbreviated as Armadas. These are robots capable of autonomously assembling, repairing, and reconfiguring structural materials for various hardware systems in space conditions. Armadas uses a small set of three-dimensional building voxels made of strong and lightweight composite materials in the form of cobactahedra. The shape of the components allows them to be attached at various angles while maintaining structural strength. The system of these voxels can autonomously reconfigure itself according to changing needs. Future plans include expanding the assortment of voxels, adding solar panels, electrical connections, and other elements, significantly expanding the technology's application capabilities. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. We hope you found something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.